Art Focus is a group of Tri-City area artists working in a variety of artistic mediums, including pastel, watercolor, acrylic, oil, and mixed media. Tri-Cities Community Television dropped by the Arts Village in Poco for their latest art exhibition in Lee Square to chat with the artists, check out the art for sale, and find out a little bit more about Art Focus. I think, um, I think art is a very good avenue for expressing yourself. And I think everybody has some art in them. And whether you do music or you write or you do fine art or performing art, everybody has something. So I encourage everybody to get out there and, and express their, their artistic side. As a member of Art Focus, you get to see different things and then be inspired, or how does that work? Uh, yeah, yeah, we have demo nights here at Art Focus once a month, which I love. They're always inspiring. We get great artists that come in. And then you kind of take the techniques that you learn and go back to my studio and play around and see what happens. And it's, it's an interesting process, actually, creating art, because um, in this type of art, especially... It's it. You're you're kind of learning about yourself too. It's it's a way to tap into things about yourself that you don't, you didn't even realize that were there or you didn't understand. So it's kind of a uh, similar to how writers use writing as a process of understanding themselves and and bringing clarity uh, to themselves. This type of painting is kind of like that for me as well. well I find a lot of different things inspirational. Uh, the the rock is. Uh, is interesting because uh, you know it's it's not it, there's, there's only a few different colors there but it, it will you know there's enough to really capture uh, the essence of what it is by uh, you know, it, with, with, with sketching which I, I did before that you, you know you're basically just monochrome so do different shades and so this um, is maybe easier to capture the, the colors without uh, you know, too much complexity. I think the greens are a little bit harder to to master. Uh, you know, it's a green is a very complex color, <laughs> and there's so many different greens. So, well, I think you can tell I love bright colors, and uh, I don't usually notice how bright they are until I put my pictures in a show, and then I go around looking at everybody else's work, and I go, "Holy moly, mine is bright!" <laughs> but I like it that way. The inspirations come sometimes even in the middle of the night, so <laughs> um, I do like that. I can just look at something. I look at um, nature differently now. Now that you're an artist, you do. You look at everything a little differently. Uh, to explain how light, how you like light or why you like light or the frustration of light or all those elements. Oh, I think it's um, uh, one of the things in, uh, in the forest uh, if, if, if you really venture out in, uh, in a hiking and all these things and you, you can see a lot of good ray of lights coming through the, the forest which inspires you and you know you love it it's just like a spritch you know the spirits of the forest is around you and uh, that's just the reason I you know uh, it's, it's a good feeling and uh, some of the uh, church goers so I have some uh, customer who, who's involved in spirits uh, and things like that or going to, uh, to church and they feel that the ray of lights uh, you know it's got a good feeling and, and uh, spiritually they, they either buy it or sometimes uh, you know they, they, they love to see that yeah yeah what would you say to people out there who are nervous scared or you know, they see your work they think well that's amazing and then they think well, I can't do that so what would you say to those people uh, I think that if you put yourself uh, in the position that I can do it, you will do it. So you have to try it in order that you really, try. if you don't try, it's like when the little kids, they ask me, can you do this and do that for me, a house or a dog? Or, I did, but I didn't know proper. So when you go and learn and do it, then you develop something that you don't know that you have. So that is the, the way that happened to me, and then I am very happy that uh, uh, came out, and, and uh, I'm still learning. So I, this is why I think that you should really, if you want something to do it, go for it. Well, I think you just sold a painting behind you as we were talking. To, so, so uh, 
You did, yeah. So, um, what would you, anything? You, <laughs> so, so uh, you're 94, and, and what has art mean, meant to you in your, in your uh, art, in, art career? It's probably taken, certainly most of the last part of my life, it, it's made a very interesting uh, division between raising families and being in the community to a completely different life of, of uh, creativity. And it's, it's very, I feel very fortunate that, this, that I can do this. Maybe I'm too afraid to come to Art Focus. Like, what do you say to those people? Well, what I would say to these people is maybe a lot of our own members felt the same way at one point. But you've got to just try, and then you might surprise yourself. You know, another thing too is with our demos, you learn so many techniques. The uh, visiting artists teach how to do certain techniques and how they use their materials. So someone who you know thinks they they might be interested, they come to the demos. They they might leave with uh, being inspired and uh, want to pick up those paints and their brushes and and try. And you know, you, your first few pieces are of course you know not necessarily masterpieces but you get better every time you do another one because you learn from your mistakes and in our club we talk to each other we look at how others do things we learn from each other so I would say to anyone with a modicum of art interest to they must come and develop this it's a gift develop it <laughs>